everybody. It's Christine with Lazy Bunny Homestead. Um, oh, sorry. My cat just walked by and left her fur on my face. Um, I know it's been a really long time since I did a video. Um, I've got a lot of clips ready to go. Just haven't gotten them together. Um, things have been kind of crazy around here, so... Um, I just wanted to put this one together. Um, hopefully, I can get more videos out in the um, near future. I know I've got one coming up that I'm going to do. It's called Painting with Diamonds. They're not real diamonds, I wish. But um, you, we're going to be talking gardening. Um, gardening in an apartment, gardening as a means of making a little bit of extra money. And we're going to take a look at growing in Arizona. It's got its <laughs> trials, um, been through a few of them. Um, I'm I'll let you know where I get my seeds from. Yeah, my brain's kind of all over today. I apologize. It's just one of my brain dead days. So I have my days. So with all that being said, um, this is Lazy Bunny Homestead. I homestead from a apartment doing what I can. Um, when I am financially able to, when I am physically able to, I do what I can. Um, I'm learning a lot through some of the other channels. So, I'm going to stop yakking and get started. If you have any questions, make sure you post them down below. Um, any links will go right about there. Um, Yeah, so let's get going. This is the grow shelf that I've got for right now. Um, I picked it up at Wally World for, I think it was $74. Let's see if I can get that centered a little bit more. There we go. Um, yeah, it's five shelf. It's very sturdy. It can hold up to... Up to 3,000 pounds. I had to go in the closet and look at my box. Um, I've got four grow mats. Or heat mats, I guess they're called. Picked those up on Amazon. They were like $25 for two, I think. Um, the two LED lights that you see. Those I picked up at Walmart also. They were $21.84 each. I actually have a third one that will go on the shelf where the plants are. Um, those are just some house plants I picked up from somebody here locally that I'm trying to get to root. Um, down below, I've got some plastic sheeting. I don't know if you can see it yet. What? Sorry about that. Yep. Just a shower curtain I cut in half. And then I've got the fan. For when the seedlings pop up. Help them get a little stronger. I'll set you back down. And that's what I've got to work with right now. Um, if need be, I'll go ahead and pick up another shelving unit and a couple more lights. I'm probably going to move the heat mats to the upper shelves and get the plant started and then move them down to the ones with the lights once they've sprouted and then keep them on rotation. And hopefully by the time they get to be a decent size, all of this craziness will be over. 
I can start um, going to the flea market, the farmer's market to sell some of these and all the proceeds from my plant sales amongst a few other things are going to fund my move to Kentucky. So as I said, this video is going to be about the seeds that I'm going to be starting in the next um, week. By the end of the week, it should be mid-90s. So there is not a lot that I can plant right now. So what I'm doing is getting started on the seeds for, for the plants for um, fall planting. Um, I've been ordering some here and there because pickings are very slim. Thankfully, we're not on a lockdown like some other states are where I can still go into the big box stores and pick up seeds, but they're pretty slim, so I've been ordering where I can. Um, I do get some from eBay. I have a seller that I go to there. If they don't have it, then I have to branch out and see what I can find through other stores. Um, I do have some that I picked up yesterday at Walmart when I went to pick up my medication. I also buy from a online shop called Little Shop of Seeds. Um, Okay, so this is what I'm going to be planting. Um, pardon the cat that may be walking around. You may hear him in the background or you may catch a, gl a glimpse of his tail. But let's get started on these seeds. So I'm going to do all the herbs first because that's what I'm going to be starting first. Um... We have kind of some strange weather in Arizona. Um, I really don't know how to describe it. Um, it's kind of like Hades during the summer. Um, you need to get a really early start, and unfortunately I didn't. So I'm getting a start for our fall crops. Um, Herbs are going to hopefully be ready to go, but we shall see. And here comes Max. You just turn the camera so you can get a, a glimpse. Don't mind the mess in the background. Say hi, Max. His nickname is Satan's Own Child because he is six months old and full of um, something, yeah, so herbs, we've got lavender, lavender lady, we've got vera lavender, then we've got rosemary, chives, I'm really looking forward to growing these, I miss these from back in Michigan, I had a huge bed, and then we've got catnip, now, most of these are going to be for sales. A few of these I'm going to um, dig up a little bit and take with me. Uh, the chives, the catnip, and the rosemary are definitely going with me. And then I've got a few mints. We've got cat mint. Oh, and the catnip, guess why I'm growing it. Yeah, it would be... Whoop. There we go. Like I said, don't mind the mess in the background. And then I've got another one wandering around someplace. Her name's Callie. Yes, yeah, she is a calico. So, um, cat mint, peppermint. I guess that's a, a mix of peppermint and spearmint. We've got apple mint. Some thyme. German chamomile that I'm taking with me and some of the other mints Long Island dill broadleaf sage lemon balm I picked that up because Jess and Jen both love the lemon balm so 
I'm going to try and grow it. We've got Italian basil. Ah, oh, licorice mint. That got stuck in the wrong spot. I'm going to try and grow some stevia. Stevia, however you say it. Um, not sure if that's going to turn out. I've tried a few other times and didn't have any luck. But I'm going to try. And then I'm going to try a few seeds of oregano. So that's it for my herbs. Like I said, um, I'm hoping that these are going to be okay for fall planting. I guess we'll see. So that is it for this video. Um, we kind of went over Are we done? So that would be Callie and Max. They are having a minor disagreement. Um, anyways, we went over um, my growing setup, what herbs and what vegetables I'm going to be growing. Um, I'll do an update with what's going on with those as well as what um, flowers I'm going to be planting. But those are pretty much just zinnias. Um, I'm probably going to do some calendula and whatever, whatever else I forgot. Yeah, so um, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Um, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of the videos that I promise I will be putting up. Um, I've got clips for, I think, three, possibly four more videos. Um, I don't have a problem making the videos. I have a problem with being on the videos. Um, so it's kind of hard for me to come up with the intros and the outros and all of that without being on camera. Um, so I promise I'll start working on it. Um, we've got some growing, some gardening videos. Um, we've got a craft video and I've got a couple cooking videos that are coming up so those will be in the next few coming weeks and i hope you like them you guys take care have a hopping evening and we'll see you in the next video bye